So in our previous video we saw that the reasons why you should learn Linux and now in this video I'm gonna give you guys my best seven selections of Linux distros that it is suitable for beginners right and all of these Linux distros are my personal favorite and I just wanted to share them with you so without any further delay let's get started number one Zorin OS Zorin OS is an amazing Linux distribution which is based on Debian so it is very very easy and also the UI the user interface looks perfect for beginners and for those who want to learn Linux and they don't want to get into the crappy looking UI of Linux then you should just go to Zorin OS because Zorin OS supports um, GNOME, Budgie and also a lots of desktop interfaces so you can choose one of them which is suitable for you and then you can use it it resembles Windows and Mac OS so you will feel comfortable in Zorin OS if you don't love Linux and also it doesn't scares you with that command line it just gives you a good looking GUI interface but it is pretty nice and Zorin OS has four different types of editions which is ultimate core light and education every editions are free except the ultimate edition it costs $39 US dollars for downloading the ISO but all of the other editions are pretty free so you can download them for free and use it in any kind of desktops and tablets and laptops number two Ubuntu if you search for Linux in the internet then you may came across a name called as Ubuntu which is everywhere almost there are lots of Linux distributions which is based on Ubuntu itself so what is this Ubuntu thingy Ubuntu distribution well even my first distribution is Ubuntu it is famous for its UI it is very it has a very very customized um, and tweaked GNOME desktop environment and also it supports a wide range of other desktop environments like KDE Plasma, XFCE, LXDE and LXQT. So and also Ubuntu tries to give you almost everything and everything which is suitable for you and also they're trying to make Ubuntu as much easy for beginners and almost they are avoiding a lot of command line based things that you can do they are trying to keep their OS simplified like Windows or Mac OS by giving Ubuntu a nice looking UI and also Ubuntu has a lot of customer support and also softwares almost every Linux software supports and runs on Ubuntu so you don't need to worry about softwares number three Linux Mint Linux Mint comes with three officially supported desktop environments like Cinnamon, Mate and XFC I don't know even how to pronounce Mate is it Mate or Mate I don't know it also resembles Windows so you don't need to worry about the crappy looking UI of Linux it resembles Windows and also you may heard of DistroWatch and Linux Mint was on the number one position for a period a selected period but now it is uh, it is gone down but still Linux Mint is very classic and good and also cinnamon mate x of c all of these three desktop environments are lightweight which means they will run good they will run very efficiently even in an old hardware like mine well never mind just move on to the fourth option number four manjaro linux hmm now all of these operating system that you saw earlier was based on Ubuntu and Debian but this guy that I'm gonna show you is based on Arch 
Yes, my ladies and gentlemen, this Linux distro is based on Arch. You may ask, I heard that Arch Linux is the very, very complicated Linux distro in the world. But the truth is, Arch Linux is not so much hard, guys. It is so easy and faster comparing to Debian based distributions like Ubuntu and stuff. And also, Arch is very very lightweight and flexible but I'm not gonna talk about Arch I'm gonna I'm, I'm talking about Manjaro Linux which comes with four officially supported desktop environments which is nothing but XFCE and KDE Plasma and GNOME and also it comes with a command line based environment which is called as architect but that's not the matter and even I use Manjaro in my primary laptop and because it is simply cool number five Solus now it's time to go to the flashback uh, of my history in Linux well I I got introduced to Linux because of my dad because he installed Ubuntu in the laptop that I'm using right now and because of that only I got an interest in Linux and then after that I destroyed Ubuntu really because I'm a beginner so I don't know much about Linux so I destroyed Ubuntu and then this is my first OS that I installed on my own that is Solus. Solus is not based on anything because it has its own language. So it is so fast and it supports Budgie and GNOME and also I think Mate but it is great and it is customized to make it look minimalist and that is also one of the reasons why I love Solus and it is so fast trust me it is great and you may look into the UI it is great right and that is also one of the reason why I'm suggesting Solus OS and Solus is very very stable and you don't even get a single glitch in Solus number six Endeavor OS hmm also, this Linux distro is also an Arch based Linux distro and this guy supports almost every desktop environments available in Linux like GNOME, XFCE, LXD, DPIN, LXQT, KDE Plasma and also MATE and that is simply great and Endeavor OS comes with pre-installed open source and proprietary drivers which will make your computer run crazy and it does have a Linux look it, it does not resembles anything it has its own look and I love its X of CE edition because it looks perfect well I love it in my personal opinion but I don't know about you you may uh, you may love any other desktop environments but I love X of CE now without any uh, more details let's move on to the to our final product number seven pop OS well pop OS pop OS will look like Ubuntu because it also runs GNOME it only runs GNOME because pop OS is great Pop OS is, for, is from System76 and also it is also based on Ubuntu and almost everything that I said for Ubuntu will suit for Pop OS and yeah the UI does resembles Ubuntu and that's it for today guys I really hope that you enjoyed this video Please, if you like this video, please don't forget to give a like to this video and also share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to visit our Facebook page and Patreon page and I'll see you guys later. Bye.